here is how we are making our winter animals or our winter landscapes. Your first step is you need to draw your animal or landscape two times, one on the front and then one on the back. When you're drawing, you can use the how to draw page and there's also at each table a stencil for part of the drawing. Um, so for example, this is the owl drawing and I have the body stencil. Some of them are the bodies, some of them are the heads. Um, use the stencil to help you draw that shape first. Um, it's gonna help you make it nice and big. So after you draw it on both sides, you're gonna pick your favorite side. So this is my um, favorite side. After you pick your animal, and the side that you want for to be your final one, you need to draw the horizon line. This is gonna make it look like our animal is um, standing on the ground and not floating around in the sky. So you can put your horizon line wherever you want. I'm gonna put mine right here. So draw a line, skip over your animal, and draw a line on the other side. If you're doing the landscape, you don't have to add the horizon line. That's already in the drawing page. After you draw your horizon line, then we want to add some snowflakes. And to add our snowflakes, we're going to be using um, white oil pastels, um, which is a little silly. We can't see it too well, but we will be able to see them after we paint. Um, so you can go ahead and draw your snowflakes. You can draw just circle snowflakes. You could do some big, some little. You could also do little snowflakes that look a little bit more like real snowflakes, like little stars. You could do a couple on your animal. Okay, and we don't need to put snowflakes in the bottom part of our ground because that's going to be snow, so it's going to stay white. Um, but you can fill your sky with snowflakes. Okay, after you dry your snowflakes, you're going to use a Sharpie and you are going to sign your name in one of the corners. You could pick a top corner um, or you can do it in the bottom. I think I'm gonna do mine right here. Um, write just your first name, no last name. Write it nice and big in your best, best handwriting. Okay. After you are done signing your name with Sharpie, then you are going to trace it with a paint marker. Okay, I need to go grab the paint marker real quick. Okay, I'm back. Okay, these are our paint markers. Um, they are kind of like our are dot stampers. They have little foam on the top and I filled it with something called India ink. Um, and it just makes these nice thick black lines. It's really gonna make our art stand out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing with my paint marker. The one thing you do not want to do is to squeeze your paint marker. No squeezing. That is going to make big, big puddles um, and that's not what we want for our artwork. So I'm going to carefully trace all of my lines. Okay. I'm going kind of fast in the video, but you guys are going to go nice and slow and take your time. Tracing all of our lines, not squeezing the bottle. Just drawing just kind of like a pencil or a marker. Don't forget your horizon line. Add the legs. Okay, and then after you're done tracing, um, then you can start adding some extra details. Um, so maybe you want to add some stripes on your scarf. Maybe you want to add a little tummy on your owl with a design in there. Maybe you want to add a couple of polka dots to the boots. Okay, maybe you want to, let's see, um, add some shapes or patterns into your earmuffs or your hat. Okay, you can add whatever details you would like. 
Okay, and then that's it. When you're done with the paint marker, give it to someone else so they can use it. And then you need to put your artwork on the drying rack underneath your class label. And then you have some free draw time.